with another departure happening, albeit a more expected one, and some other transfer targets set to visit Morgantown. It's time for another Transfer Portal update here on the Country Roads webcast. Let's go! What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with Country Roads Webcast. And before I get into this video, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder, if you would, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, give us a like on this video, really help not only its performance, but future videos' performances here on the channel as well. And if you're a West Virginia fan and you haven't already, be sure, hit that subscribe button. Helps us, and it helps you, as it helps get more of this Mountaineer sports content out to Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, let's get into it. All right, I mentioned in the cold open, there was a departure for West Virginia here announced today on December 29th, kind of the impetus for this most recent transfer portal update here on the CRW, but I mentioned it was more of an expected one due to the fact that Jared Bartlett did walk with the team on senior day, despite the fact that he wasn't a senior. I think a lot of us saw kind of the writing on the wall here, and this was kind of a, I guess you could say, mutual departure. Uh, Jared Bartlett, you know, kind of served his time at West Virginia, graduated from here, and wants to go on and play somewhere else and find, you know, another landing spot for his final year of college football and you know Neil Brown's talked about this with the staff in the past that's kind of their thinking on transfers is you know once you've fulfilled your obligation here you have your degree and then if you want to move on and do something else uh, they're perfectly fine with that and that's just kind of the way it goes you know today's day and age uh, with these postgraduate transfers which uh, Jared Barton that will now be if you didn't know today announcing on social media as you see here on X at Bartlett there and I won't read it out for you guys to uh, kind of for brevity purposes so we can move on for our transfer portal update here. But if you want to pause the video and read it there, you can see uh, his uh, great statement that he shared today on Twitter when he announced his intentions officially. Like we said, kind of saw the writing on the wall with this one a little bit maybe uh, coming there. But nonetheless, West Virginia will now have a vacancy to fill at that bandit position, at least, you know, in one aspect with a losing Bartlett here. They are bringing in Ty French, which will be good, but we'll see if they target anyone else uh, there in the the future to potentially help on that edge position and we'll see how much that changes as this defense is believed to move to more of a 3-4 look next season so we'll have to see how the bandit position functions now moving forward if it functions more as a traditional outside linebacker or how uh, they decide to move forward with that with the players that they'll have left there Ty French potentially Tyron Bradley we'll see uh, what happens moving forward there we know Jared Bartlett won't be there for West Virginia so we can now add him to our transfer out list so let's take a look at our transfer portal tracker here on the country Roads webcast not only to add Jared Bartlett's name to the transfer out list but of course take a look at our updated target list now that we've purged it of guys that have committed elsewhere and we have a couple of players that West Virginia is targeting in the trenches that are going to be visiting Morgantown soon as well so let's take a look at that all right and as we add Jared Bartlett's name to the transfer out list here you can see the full list of updated now West Virginia players that have transferred out uh, since the offseason began here in the end of the regular season uh, Jared Bartlett, of course, being the most recent, uh, but I guess on the positive side of that is not too many impactful ones here in recent memory that are really going to hurt you for the near future. Fingers crossed that remains the case here through January 2nd when the portal closes, of course, to non-graduate uh, transfers, which Bartlett, of course, is a graduate transfer. Uh, scroll down here, we'll see West Virginia's transfer in list. Got update videos here on each one of these if you want to learn more about these guys that have already committed to West Virginia from the portal, but what we really want to talk about here is the transfer portal target list. Like I said, I've purged this of guys that have decided to commit elsewhere. And so really, these are the only targets that West Virginia remains after at this current time. Uh, like I said, they'll save a few spots to add some transfers after that spring football window. That's when they've really got some impactful guys in the past. That's when you got, you know, Cole Taylor, Beanie Bishop this past year. And, you know, other seasons, you've gotten other guys that have made impacts um, in that late window there. And I think you can do that again this season. But West Virginia for now, you know, overall, they're looking to add two to five more transfers of the these names listed here. Two guys in the trenches are going to be visiting Morgantown. More on that momentarily. As you see the names here on the screen, West Virginia has two wide receiver targets. They still have offers out to three tight end targets, two offensive line targets, two defensive line targets, and then in the defensive backfield, a cornerback in Devin Marshall and a safety in DJ Douglas. That's the small list of transfer targets that remain for West Virginia that have not committed to other programs. And the two that West Virginia remains heavy after, I think at this point, that are probably you know high up on their target list due to the fact that they are uh, using one of those official visits. They don't have that many official visits remaining to hand out. So if they're using them on someone, they definitely really want to get them. And those will be Xavier Bosley, the offensive line 
lineman from Jacksonville State, actually originally from West Virginia in the South Charleston area, I believe, uh, had a successful career, though, at Jacksonville State as an offensive lineman, and West Virginia would love to get him in. He's going to be visiting Morgantown here in early January. And then I think previously reported by our friend Mountaineer Paul, Elijah Hills, a defensive lineman from Albany, seems to be extremely talented defensive lineman. They're visiting the Mountaineers in early January. Would be a great pickup there for West Virginia there at that defensive line spot as they continue to try to add bodies there that they're going to need uh, moving forward for the future. They've done a great job in the trenches with this program, both on offense and defense. They're looking to continue that with the visits upcoming of Elijah Hills and Xavier Bosley. So those are kind of the top two transfer portal targets remaining for West Virginia at this time as we continue to try and make these transfer portal updates here on the Country Roads webcast. You'll see one more time the transfers in currently for West Virginia there and the transfers out as we now add Jared Bartlett's name to that list, kind of the subject of this video here and our December 29th transfer portal update here on the Country Roads webcast. So there you have it, Mountaineer Nation. Jared Bartlett, the latest transfer departure for West Virginia, but leaving on good terms, certainly they're kind of a mutual decision, I think, there as he's moving on for his final year of eligibility after fulfilling his requirements here at WVU and gaining his degree as a Mountaineer before moving on. But then more importantly, we see who West Virginia is trying to bring in there to help out for the 2024 season, and that's what we're looking to continue to update here on the Country Roads webcast is some more of these transfer targets as visits happen and as, of course, they commit, and if any of these guys do commit in the near future, we'll put out a video on that as well. But we'll continue to update these as guys transfer out, as guys transfer in, as uh, more players are targeted and more offers go out as well. Uh, my camera just died, so uh, you may not be seeing me on the screen now or I may be frozen, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here with just the audio in the black screen, I guess, because I'm not changing the camera battery just for the last uh, 30 seconds of this video. But do want to ask you guys, though, if you made it this far, be sure to drop your thoughts in the comments on West Virginia's transfers out and their transfers in or these guys that they're targeting who would you like to see them pick up be sure to let us know we really appreciate that as we continue to try and grow country roads webcast community throughout mountaineer nation having said that as always i'm jordan cruz and until next time let's go mountaineers